Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh here with Scrapyard Films, and today I got a quick Vegas Pro 17 tutorial for you. In this one, I'm going to teach you how to use the new nesting and nested timelines feature in Vegas Pro 17. All right, so we have Vegas Pro open, and I have a project that I've been working on for a while, and it has multiple layers of video on here. And, you know, there's some effects that I want to do, maybe like color grade, and maybe add some like vignetting and some active camera and things like that. And if I wanted to do that to this project, I'd have to do it to each video track on this timeline individually or specifically for each video. And that could be a big pain and it could put a lot of unnecessary resources on my computer to do that. So the feature we have now is called nested timelines. And if we do our selection tool, then we drag and select all we want. Whichever we select, if we right click on it and then do create a nested timeline, everything we select is going to be put in a new timeline, a nested timeline, on a separate project. Kind of sounds confusing, so I'm going to show you. I have all these videos right here. I do create a nested timeline. And I call it running nest one. And so it's going to separate it from my initial running video. Hit save. And here we go. You saw it go into that one file. Now it's here. Now we're in my new timeline right here. So we close this, open running. And now that we've opened running, all those video files are now put in one. And so if I wanted to add any effects to it, I just add it to this one video. It's almost like it rendered it and then imported it into the project without actually rendering it and taking the time to do that and importing it, possibly losing quality and things like that. So it's an awesome feature. Now we just go ahead and add cool stuff to it. Let's just say we want to add an auto look incarnation or something like that. Bam. And then we save it. We close this one and open up our nest one. It's not going to make any differences to the project. Now, on the other hand, if we were to add an effect like that, again, let's just say 90s music video. If we were to add that effect on this and then we save it and then reopen our first project. So remember, we added that effect in the beginning. So any changes you make in the nest get updated to whatever project you've imported that nest into. So we have running nest one. Now another cool thing is, let's just say we have our nest or we have multiple nests right here. You can just drag and drop the nests as actual files themselves. So instead of having to you know go back and forth between projects, you can drag and drop nests inside here. And it makes it extremely convenient to do any kind of batch editing. So that is an awesome feature of Vegas Pro 17 that they've added, and I know it's going to be helping me out in the future. That's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. If it helps you out, be sure to throw a like and subscribe. That'll really help me out. I'm trying to hit a billion subscribers by the end of the year, and so, you know, with your help, I probably can do it. And don't forget, back on my channel, Scrapyard Films, I got plenty of other Vegas Pro 17 tutorials that may help you out. Or you can maybe just go win a giveaway or something like that that I throw. But other than that, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.